Do you not watch television at all? No. This. I watch... What do you do? Vibe. You just sit in your house and stare at the wall? Uh, yeah. Sometimes I do planks. Oh. I'll sing to myself a cappella. How long can you do a plank for? Uh, until I get bored. Yeah, but how long? Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, get out. You have to go. Get her out. Get her out. Hi, it's me, Trixie Mattel, and welcome back to The Pit Stop, the show where we recap RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Season 6. And today's very special episode is brought to you by Levi's. In support of their Pride collection, Levi's makes an annual donation to Outright Action International, working to advance human rights for LGBTQIA people all over the world. Joining me today in the studio is not only a friend of Drag Race, not only a judge of Drag Race, but the first qualified professional Emmy-nominated judge we've ever had in the studio, Nicole Byer! Oh, thank you for having me, yes! I'm excited, I'm so excited. I am so excited too. I have been pushing to have comedian guest and you were like the first person we wanted to have. The first one. Thank you so much. I mean, you've been there for so many iconic moments now. <sighs> I have. You're just lucky. Every time you show up on Drag Race, some crazy sh happens. Oh, yes. Lala Ree's bags. <laughs> what did you think? I like was driving home being like, how? 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 <laughs> and I was like, I can't wait for people to see this. It's, I love Lala Ree. She's like, it's, oh. You had to wait a full year to talk <laughs> to your friends yes. about that? Yes. So you'd be in public settings, uh -huh. mentally inside. You're nodding, but inside yeah, you're I'd like, I'd be at yeah. a drag show being like, if only them bags would come out. <laughs> I'd be so happy. Thank you for being here today. You truly are a Drag Race super fan, right? Oh, I truly love the show. It is such a treat. Oh, I love drag. It's your people. Yes. What do you like about an all-star season versus a regular season? The money, the girls got some coins. So the looks are just elevated, you know? Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> and sometimes you're like, girl, what happened? What'd you do with all that money? <laughs> well, we always talk about in this show, like m money doesn't buy taste. No, it sure doesn't. It does not. And that speaks for me too. I mean, me too. I'm in a black turtleneck from Amazon, but I'm not competing. No, you're not. And nor am I. These are from Walgreens. I see that. Yeah, right? They're cool. They're made for a child. Like a little girl was like, I want them. And then I was like, me too. Not on my watch. <laughs> and you, they weren't even for sale. You, you, I stole you them. stole them off a girl in a wall. I sure place. did. <laughs> I knocked her down too. That was her wig. I said, you stupid bitch. <laughs> and she was like, what? So you're of course a beloved guest judge. Your first episode as a guest was mm -hmm. All Stars 3. Yes. Snatch yes, yes. game. Watching the Snatch game uninterrupted. Huh, wow. <laughs> How f delightful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Chi Chi Devane, God rest her soul, she was asked, why does the cage bird sing? And she said, ah, 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 I don't, ah, ah, ah. And then unprompted, 20 minutes later, said, I know why the cage bird sings. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. And I was like, I don't, I, I don't even know how you could have edited it like that. It was just so funny. I sometimes, we're on such shorthand as friends, and sometimes I go, oh, the day I met Nicole, uh -huh. I sobbed Yeah. after she watched my horrible Covered snatch Covered in flowers, sobbing. And all the judges were saying my look was too much, and you were like, I don't think it's too much. No. This is drag race. Yes. You said, I have jewelry in my hair. Yes. What are we doing? I mean, whenever they're like, it's too much, my my thing is like, it's drag. Like, I, the bigger, the better, the more, the better? No, yeah. That didn't rhyme. Well, let's get into this, Nicole. Okay. I'm so happy you're here and we have a lot to discuss. Last week, we finally got to see the game within a game and mm -hmm. watch Silky win six lip syncs leading to her final matchup with the recently eliminated Eureka. Right away, we find out that Eureka has won, earning her way back into the competition. What do you think Eureka's thinking? What a short vacation. I packed my bags to just roll onto another set, to just roll back onto the old set. I would be mad about having to pack. Same. Packing your outfits is hard. Mm -hmm. Packing Eureka's outfits? Is even harder. I'm a big bitch, so I know that takes up a lot of space. A lot. Can you believe Silky lip synced seven times and won six of them? I mean, I can believe it. She's entertaining. Yeah. I once went to a party where she was at where she rolled across the floor. And I said, wow, that's fun. They... I hope no one tags me in that. <laughs> Spoiler alert, we do get some barrel rolling later in the episode. This, uh, girl, I gotta tell you, car, put down the cards for a second. 
I'm so happy you were here today. This episode was a fever dream and I loved every second of it. The whole time I was watching, I was going, if I was watching this alone, I would think <laughs> nobody's gonna believe what I'm, nobody's gonna believe me, what I just saw. By the end, I forgot the mini challenge was cutting up denim. And I was like, Eureka is now dressed thing. as a clown and she landed a split and <laughs> what? Did you enjoy Silky's exit? I wanted them both to be back in. Yeah. I just, I felt bad because I was like, Silky won all the lip syncs and then had to go home at the final one. It's hard. But her, her exit was very funny. I'm really happy she was on All Stars this season and I'm happy that going home early, she got to come back and show so much. So the next day, the current top four queens enter the workroom and they have no idea who's joining them. Mm -hmm. Rue enters and reintroduces Eureka back into the competition. What do you think the other four queens are thinking right now? But because Eureka is a competitor. I know. She is like a formidable competitor. Formidable? Formidable. Did formidable. I say it right? Formidable? Formidable. This is humiliating. This person's nominated for an Emmy. And she can't speak. So for the mini challenge yes. this week, the queens style themselves in Levi's clothing for a pride perfect photo shoot. Nicole, who stood out? Who stood out for me? Eureka and Ooh, it's at the tip of my who was it? Do you have a picture of the pictures? No. We don't have a picture of the pictures? We do for the runway. But I need a picture of the picture to remember. We just count on people to remember information from an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> if people aren't face planting or poorly baking in front of you, you can't remember a thing. <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> I think I like Trinity the best. What did you like about it? Uh-oh. <laughs> I liked Kylie only because <laughs> Kylie in um, quickly assembled denim is still extremely chic. Yes, she looked great. And I guess I relate to that. Oh, cause you think you look great? Oh. You do! <laughs> She's stunning! So Kylie wins the mini challenge, yes. hooray! Yes, 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 yes. Now for the maxi challenge this week, mm -hmm. the queens have to write and perform in the charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent monologue. I just got it. The c monologues. It's like the vagina monologue. Yes. I didn't get it. Oh, come on. I now get it. Come on. I've caught myself up. I'm glad that you got it. What do you think about the idea of this challenge? <sighs> I come from a world of like sketch and improv. So I've seen many a one person shows and I've seen many a bad one person shows and I've seen bad monologues. So it very, it was like serving me like drama school. But I will say, they were, good in a fun way. What I like about it is it's open-ended. It's not yes. stand-up. Yes. But it's not sob story, it's honesty. So I have a question. Okay. What do you think the key is to doing well in this challenge? I mean, me personally, I would go comedy. I would go a comedy route. Having a beginning, a middle, and an end. Knowing where you're gonna go. And then like having a very clear point of view. Mm -hmm. That's what I think you need. So Eureka mentions that if she doesn't win, she fully expects to be voted out again. Mm -hmm. Is that fair? Yes. Thank you. You went home, you came back, you go home again. That's Goodbye. how I feel. Yeah. And like we said, any reason is fair. It's all stars. Meanwhile, Trinity's nervous because she's been in the bottom the most, even though she has two wins. Nicole, as a viewer, what are your thoughts on track records? <sighs> I... I'm not about track records. I'm a Naomi Smalls, life's not fair. Yes! Upset the game a little bit. Yes. Let's have fun, it's television. Why not? You've made it this far. Like, let's send home people that are competitors. So you win. I would. I like to win. I want you to win. Thank you. I want you to win. I wanna win. If you win an Emmy, are you gonna have to hide from RuPaul for the rest of your life? <laughs> Imagine. Nicole Byers Drag Race. Nicole Byers Drag Race. May the best drag queen, best drag queen win. Uh, uh, that's not silky. I'm not silky. Yeah, by the way, if you comment in this video that that's silky, you're both yeah, uh, you're basic. fat phobic, racist, you're basic. and basic. A basic. Also, silky's gorgeous. Stunning. Go for it. It could Stunning. be worse. It could be a lot worse. It could be. You look like Trixie Mattel. <laughs> oh boy, I would cry into my pillow every night. <laughs> I will say, side note, I think this season is a little obsessed with track records, but only because it's so close. Yes. So close. Yeah, but like, throw it away. Who cares? Be messy. Who cares how someone did the week before? Just send bitches home. Like when Jan was like, oh, I was trying to vote the way I thought the group would vote. What? What? 
This you isn't won. the People's Choice Send Awards. Send home whoever you want. It is not the People's Choice Awards. No. So the queens get a little coaching with Alec Moffa and Jermaine Fowler. Based on this rehearsal, who do you predict is gonna have the strongest monologue? I'm thinking probably Ginger Minge. Yeah. Yeah, because she came pretty prepared. She was, you know, I think Alec liked it. But then also Alec really liked Eureka. So I think Eureka, maybe. I feel like going in, Trinity was like a little shaky. A little shaky. A little shaky. It was giving me Jasmine Masters talent show vibes. It's one of my favorite performances. Oh. I can't remember who it was, but they were like, you don't want to rehearse? And she was like, no. She was like, I'm funny. And I was like, I mean, but yeah, why not? Trinity wants to redeem herself from week one stand-up mm -hmm. and take a comedic approach with her monologue. Yes. Nicole, as an expert, mm -hmm. what is the difference between stand-up and monologue? I think the difference between stand-up and a monologue is uh, stand, you could do a 10 minute set where you cover four or five different topics, mm -hmm. maybe 10 different topics. In a monologue, you just want to tell one story. Mm -hmm. Maybe two, but like truly, if you're going to do two, it has to tie back to that first one. Mm -hmm. But her saying, I want to make up for like a past wrong, I feel like that's a recipe for disaster. Yeah. You're putting too much pressure on yourself. Just tell a story. That's what I wanted from her. Yeah. It was a little too performative. By the way, do you think Trinity and Eureka have a future as a couple? Honestly, I would love to be a fly on the wall to watch them So yes, I do think they have uh, a future. Well, Eureka did say in the episode, she was like, I know you're just, we're just teasing each other, whatever. But I'm like, mm, y'all should I thought she was gonna say, I know you're just teasing, but I'm not. I thought, I thought she was gonna say that. That's where I thought it was going. And it might've gone there. But then Eureka might have just been like, no, I can't do that on camera. So let's get into these monologues. Who were your favorites? Honestly, Eureka's. I really identified with Eureka being big, being out of breath, just standing, myself, all these things I identify with. The only thing I didn't like about Eureka's performance was the blatant plagiarism, because she was telling your story. She was telling my truth. She was telling my story, but I let her borrow it. <laughs> I said, you can have it. And then Kylie Sonique, I thought she did a really nice job. I do wish she like wasn't hunched over and like leaning. I agree. It was, was like, little... pull that mic up, honey. It's your yeah. TED talk. Yeah, just the stand adjusts. Did anybody struggle to you? I don't know if you remember any particular struggles. Yeah. What's going yeah. on there? So I think I think Trinity struggled a little bit. Um, I also think Raja struggled a little bit up top, but I do think she finished very strong. Agreed. Very, very strong. Raja did such a good job recovering that I actually forgot she messed up. Same. Which is pretty amazing. Yeah. And I mean, Eureka had that perfect amount of, she knew her beats, mm -hmm. but she was not memorized. There was no. not scripts. No, it was very, very loose. It was very much like, I'm telling you a story. Mm -hmm. And then the detail of, there wasn't a mound, just a wet spot. It's so visceral. When she called it a brown mound? Yeah, it's a good drag name. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, brown mound! Brown mound, honey! Uh, uh, every time I walk in the club, yeah. Mm. Ginger was prepared to the point of, bitch, I don't believe a word you're saying. It was a little rehearsed, and I gotta say, the shoe wasn't a reveal, because you could see the shoe the whole time. How did she find a dress that too, was too short, short for a five foot woman? I don't know, girl. I don't know. She went to Kids R Us. I don't know. I was that. I was a little annoyed about. That. I was like, come on, they've just been out. But I did think it was good. It was a good idea. I just don't think the ex execution was good. Yeah. We get to the runway, and the category is Oops, I did it again. Fashionable fashion fails. Mm -hmm. Did you like the theme? I did. I didn't catch it, and as we were watching it, I was like, Ooh, Trinity, I like that safety pin. That's cute. And then you're like, It's fashion. I was like, Oh, okay, fashion fails. I get it. I get She's it. doing mm -hmm. what she was asked. Yes, 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 okay. yes, yes, yes. What would you have worn for the fashionable faux pas? Ooh, boy, what would I have worn? I liked Raja O'Hara's. Uh, Loved it. Like the off the shoulder, like caught me in the dressing room kind of moment. Probably something like that. I don't know, what would you have worn? What's funny is I think I would have done a hair dryer that like shot smoke and then like mm -hmm. one half of my head all burned. Ooh, that's fun. Like all my, like I'm platinum blonde, all curly and this mm -hmm. side is like, like, oh, mm -hmm. I need five more minutes. I like that. Ooh, maybe I would have done like a dress that was too big with a titty hanging out. 
let's break down the look, shall okay. we? Okay, Trinity K. Bonet. Her face looked flawless. I loved the hair. I've never seen gloves with rouge in. Never. I'm a woman of broad shoulders. Yes. What a creative way to dwarf your shoulders a little bit. And I like the color. It was like a, a beautiful eggplanty color, and then the, the gloves were like a lavender. I really liked it. Oh, loved stunning. It. As a judge, aren't you, yeah. when somebody does poorly in the challenge, but they have a great runway, aren't you like, thank God, yes. I have a compliment sandwich. Yes, because it's <laughs> tough. It was a great look though, and I gotta say, I, I had never thought of a dress fastening with giant safety pins. And I Me thought it was either. So I loved it. So up next, we had Raja. Yes, ah, uh, stunning. The hair, her skin, the leg, the like, oh no, you opened the door on me. Oh, it told me a whole story. She's been crushing it. Killing This it. whole season. What a delight. I love when somebody didn't even come close to winning, winning. Yeah. And then they come on All Stars and let these women yes. have it. And annihilate. I really like her. She's really funny. Yeah, she Ugh. is. She's my all-star. She's really fierce. Up next, Kylie. I, I, I liked this look, I'm gonna be honest, I, I didn't live. I didn't live. I didn't live either. I also didn't really think it was like a fashion faux pas. It was just like, oh, someone squirted on her. I got the sense that she was doing ballpark hot dog saleswoman. Uh-huh. Give me the box. Yeah. I want more than that. Yeah, give me more, give me more corn dogs. Give me slushies. But she looks stunning. Of course. I think for a different runway, it would have been great, but not for this one. Yeah. When Michelle said, I don't remember eating corn dog. Jail. I don't get it. They always say, I don't remember eating corn, like you're examining oh, your Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. I wow. I eating corn dog. That was really hard for me to get. Maybe I don't understand comedy. <laughs> Ginger Minge. Ginger Minge. That curling iron, actually oh, smoking. Yes, 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 I loved that. I loved that, her face looked good, I loved the hair. I didn't love the dress. It was serving me a little bit of like hairspray, but I want it more. I didn't love the dress, I loved the wig. Love the wig. And nobody will sell you a story on the runway like Ginger. Mm -hmm. She is doing acting, honey. Yes, yes. It was so good, I love this runway. And once in a while things happen on Drag Race where I go, oh, I wish I would've thought of that. Mm -hmm. It was so good. And she had more than one burn, which I thought was very <laughs> funny. One on the forehead and one like right under her chin. I was like, that's, this is great. It's so well thought out. Very my first time curling my hair mm -hmm. to you. Although that many burns on the face, you would stop curling. No. You would call it a day. No. You keep going. I never give up. <laughs> Gotta finish the whole head. Gotta make sure the unit is curled. The unit, <laughs> I <laughs> hate that. And then Eureka. I liked this and I didn't love it, but I liked it. I thought she looked better in the challenge. I liked the hair. And again, it wasn't like a fashion faux pas. It was like, oh, okay, you had a bad night out. Your faux pas is that the wind is blowing? Yeah. What's your other faux pas looking pretty? Like, mm -hmm. if your hair's me blowing, mm -hmm. I want the dress frozen blowing that yes. way. Yes, that yes, would have yes. gagged me. Yes. Like a Marilyn. Who was your favorite runway? I think my absolute favorite runway was Raja O'Hara. Girl. Ugh. Cranberry Dreams. Ugh, so good. So good. She has let these women have it this season. Truly. Wait, who's your favorite? I mean, Raj O'Hara. Mm -hmm. She is the moment. Yes. Look at the material. Yes. I loved it, top to bottom, incredible. Not to mention, she took a very clear concept and still kept it a f***ing chic silhouette. Yeah. And it was like, it was campy and chic and like relatable. Like every, you get it. Like right, like there was no explanation needed. And then my least favorite, I'm just gonna say it. I know Eureka won. She won, so we can say it. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't living. Yeah. She won twenty thousand dollars. So much money. What a treat. I once pushed a friend into traffic over a hundred dollars I saw on the street. Work. We're not friends anymore. Well she passed. She did. She was hit by the car. So we find out that Eureka is the winner. Yes. How do we feel? I feel good. I do almost think Raja should have won just because she like saved herself, ended on a high note, and then her runway was so fabulous. Yeah. Whereas like Eureka, I thought the whole challenge was great, but I thought her runway was a little less than. I agree. You know what? If you're not the winner, you're in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Do you think that stings considering Eureka was just eliminated? Yes, absolutely. Guess who's back in the house? Yeah, Eureka, and she's sending your ass home. It's fierce. Yeah, I mean, it is gaggy. It's good TV. And Eureka did what you have to do because Eureka, if she had not won, she would have went home today. Yes, but Eureka sent home Trinity. I would have sent home Ginger. Oh! Or Kylie Sonique. Oh! 
or Raja. Oh! I would have sent home somebody unsuspecting. Messy. I want footage of you going to that room and selecting lipsticks, because the pantomime performance you would be giving, ooh. I would just take so long. They'd be like, Nicole, we have to go home. And I'd be like, so sorry. No, I'm not done. Back in the workroom, the queens get emotional as they plead their cases to each other. Mm -hmm. Do you think Trinity seemed defeated? Yes. Girl. Trinity seemed defeated from the jump. <sighs> it's like, you can't be like that. You gotta fake it till you make it. And then you haven't been sent home yet. I Plead know. your case. Be like, why would you send me home? I'm sickening. Sure, I land in the bottom, but guess who takes chances? Me. That's why I'm in the bottom sometimes. I'll take a chance this next up. I don't know. Bullshit. Bullshit. Offer money. Yes. Suck. Suck for money. <laughs> so we return to the main stage and we find out that the lip sync assassin is season 12 winner Jada Essence, Essence Hall. Hall. I love Jada. Obsessed. Stunning, beautiful. And I was like, were they both told to dress like clowns and Jada just picked like a slutty harem pant clown and <laughs> Eureka was like, literal clown, that's what I'll be. I know. Uh, truly, I love Jada. this episode was a fever dream. I really loved it. Do you think Eureka is intimidated when she sees Jada? I think a little. I think a little. Jada's so good at lip syncing. So good. Just like a good mover. And like looks stunning regardless of what she's doing. I know. So Eureka and Jada lip sync to good <laughs> Good God, I Miss Mullins. Yes. Yeah. It just got like and I more and more and like, insane. I was like, yep, this is, yeah, this belongs in this episode. And then Eureka barrel rolled across the stage at one point. And I was like, mm hmm, yeah. In a clown suit. In a clown costume. Eureka in a clown suit, lip syncing against Jada in harem pants to Good Golly Miss Molly by Little Richard. Honestly, Ooh. you know the meme? It's like, try explaining this to straight people. I was like, yes. They did a whole episode of it. It was so funny to watch. It was crazy. Oh, I loved it. By the um, way, Jada, oh. a lip sync legend. Yes. You could have given her Ariana Grande, mm -hmm. Lady Gaga, like mm -hmm. Beyonce. Mariah Carey. Mary, get the little Richard wig and come down. <laughs> Shut up. I love when Drag Race throws us a left field song. Same. Same, because that's when it's the most entertaining, when you're like, what am I watching? Yeah. Yes, adults. An adult rolling around dressed as a clown to Little Richard. <laughs> That's what I'm literally watching. I love it. We find out the lip sync is a tie. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Honestly, yes. Because Jada was serving face, serving moves, just like giving it. And then Eureka was serving I'm a clown rolling on the floor madness. Yeah. And I think it was pretty evenly matched. It was fun to watch. So yeah, I think it's a, it's a double win. I think so too. So Jada and Eureka reveal both their lipsticks to reveal Trinity K. Bonet is the next queen to sashay away. Mm -hmm. Thoughts? I really wish she had chosen somebody else so it would've been two girls to go home. And then we could do the game within the game again. I know. This is you being a messy bitch pulling the lipstick. Well, it was easy to make this decision because one person was the clear bottom this week, Ginger Minch. Mm -hmm. And then you would've gone like, do you love it? Do you? Nicole, we have a top four. We do! What do you think about this group of queens? I'm happy. I am too. Very, very happy. Love Eureka, love Ginger, love Raja, love Kylie Sonique. I'm so happy that Kylie Sonique like adapted to what Drag Race is now. Because yeah. I feel like some of the older queens have a hard time doing that. And yeah. she was, no problem, just snapped right into it. Who from this group could you see winning? Raja O'Hara. Also, me too. Me too. Ginger Minge. I think it's between those two for me. I think it is too. I think that Ginger is the better performer possibly. Mm-hmm. But Roger. Roger. The drag, the looks, she makes the outfits. Mm -hmm. And she goes into challenges, no fear. Yes. Oh my God, Nicole, thank you so much for joining me today. Trixie, thank you for having me. You broke our non-drag queen cherry, but you are a drag queen, so we're happy to have you. A little bit. And you, I have to say, I, I know people feel like this, you are pretty much everybody's favorite guest judge. Honestly, when people say that, it means so much because I f***ing love the show. I watched it when it was on Logo. Yeah. I'd watch it, I think it came on Monday, so I'd watch it on Tuesday afternoons on LogoTV.com on my Dell. Oh, yeah. I love it. And thank you for watching The Pit Stop. Make sure you join us next week for the finale because we will be crowning a winner right here on The Pit Stop. Goodbye. Goodbye.
does your drag name be? I think it would be the one that I've floated is Julia Louis Drypuss. <laughs> <laughs> Work. I like it. Although you are sending mixed messages. You trying to leave the men and women expecting a, a dry experience? Oh, uh, no, you have to work to, to make me a wet puss. Oh, uh, love it. Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel. And you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'. Hi.